Okay, whatever accent you want, but introduce the next guest via that way. I... <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, I'm putting you on the spot, let's go. We're gonna have some pizza. Okay. It's gonna be so great, gonna love it. Okay. Uh, we're going to Good Pizza Co. Okay, I'm not sure what have... accent that is. I don't, go. I told you I can't it's do okay. accidents. It's okay, Acc it's I can okay. do accidents, it's I can't fine. do accidents. It doesn't matter, the point is, that yeah, you do an accent. Daniel's here with Good Pizza Daniel, Company. Uh, I'm sorry. And I don't know how Irish that was. It yeah, wasn't. It, it honestly <laughs> sounded more like Australian almost, but I don't know. It's a mix of a lot of different things, and we have a mix of a lot of different things yeah. here. How'd you guys like that? That was uh -huh, good. That was good. That was good. But yeah, there you go. But Daniel, why don't you tell us a little bit about Good Pizza Company before we get into what you brought? Yeah. So we're a food truck. We just started out in February. Awesome. Um, we did have a restaurant for a few years prior. Okay. Then we took a little hiatus and decided to open the restaurant, sure. or the food truck. Yeah. Um, so we just travel around and do different events. Mm -hmm. We go to different breweries and small towns yeah. around us. And yeah, we're trying to... Uh, How has the community been responding to you guys in the food truck? Really well so yeah. far. Yeah. yeah, it's just been a lot better being in a food truck versus the brick and mortar. You know, yeah, to I each feel like their that own. Makes sense. Yeah, what would you say pushed you though to do the food truck? Because it uh, is obviously a pretty trendy thing nowadays, mm -hmm. but... We get to go new places and yeah. meet new people all the time. Sure. So it's awesome. Yeah. That has to be a great part of it. Uh -huh. All right, now we can't ignore this any longer. We've got three massive pizzas here. The Talk slices to are us. so big. I'm so pumped. It's the yeah. size of my face. Uh, talk to us about what you brought today. All right, so I brought the classic pepperoni. Of course, that's you pretty wrong. recognizable. Yeah. Everyone oh, knows and yeah. loves it. Um, we you, we make our own dough, so that's kind of the star of the show. Yeah, oh, I love that. Okay, we, I'm a big crust gal, so I love to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> and we always let our dough ferment at least 12 hours before, so it has time to develop flavor. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the red sauce is homemade as well. We had our own secret blend of seasonings. Just yeah, go for it. dig in. I brought this. mind. I like how you completely bypass the. <laughs> oh, I guess I already had out, but that's fine. That's okay. Sorry. You know, we don't. We're very strict about no silverware. The food truck. That's just good. fold it up and eat it. Like a taco. So, yeah. Except it's pizza, but you get the. You get oh the my. Is it good? Yeah. All right. No, this is another Daniel, one of those moments. Tell us about the other two that you brought in. All right. No, this is probably our most popular that we have all the time. It's mm -hmm. the meat lover pizza. Mm -hmm. So. It's got our pepperoni and hand-pinched Italian sausage on there. Mm. And then right now there's ham on there because we have our other Don't pizza here. So we kind of switch it up on what meats go on there depending on what other pizzas we have. Yep. So. I feel like that's fair. You can't go wrong with the meat lovers. So, right. Well, unless you're vegetarian. But anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, can you tell us about the last pizza, please? So this is our special for July right now. So it's a Cuban pizza. Uh -huh. It's basically just a Cuban sandwich on a pizza. It's, Got ham, pulled pork, pickles. Okay. I know that's a controversial I pizza know. topic. I already gave you a hard time about this before <laughs> the show, but you kind of said pickles are like kind of a staple. Like you guys mm -hmm. actually always kind of have a pickle pizza on the menu. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I love pickles personally, okay. and you either love them or you hate them. I so. love them. Dealer's choice, I like it. Yeah. yeah I think um, that's great. So this, the star of this pizza is the sauce. Mm. It's got mojo sauce on it, so mojo the, sauce the is pork that? is roasted in a citrusy garlic mustard kind okay. of sauce, uh -huh. and then we also add a little bit more mustard and use that as the base on the mm. bottom. That is so good. Mm. And again, I always say I'm like a purist. I am a pepperoni girl at heart. I never stray away, but this is very good. Well, you're I a third <laughs> piece, so I mean, don't you're doing mind fine, me, guys. But just... you don't just have pizza. It looks like you brought in something else here, too, so talk yeah. about these. So Good these are our garlic well. knots. Um, they're just our homemade dough. We twist them up into little knots and season them really well. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. Plenty of garlic, and then we serve it with a side of our homemade sauce as well. So That is so tasty. Yeah. Yep. So if people want more information, I just spell everywhere, want to keep up with your menu, whatever's going on, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, so we're, every social media platform, we're Good Pizza 417 <laughs> so Facebook and Instagram are the big ones. We also have YouTube. If you need to take a step away, like, I'm please do. Yeah. We can also email us at goodpizza417 at gmail. Okay. So. Very Perfect. good. This is amazing. Uh, you guys need to get out there. You mm -hmm. need to try it. Um, I hope that viewers have a better time eating it than you just did, because you... I actually had a great time eating it. It just was messy. Just a so, little messy. Anyway. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being here. Obviously, this is amazing. Uh, Gary, you want to come grab a piece real fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gary's been <laughs> eyeing this the whole segment, guys. We just got to just grab one. You got it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, if you're looking for a fun game night out, we've got just a stop in Nixa for you. That's right. The owners of Ace Table Games are here next.